history. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to some and present to others Mr. Ron Day. Occasionally, you have a student, a graduate, that's special. That's very special. Now, this person is a great basketball player. Great. I mean, one of the best college basketball players in the country. Everybody knows that. So, his basketball skills draw attention to him. But what makes him so special to me is his personality. It's his character. It's his spirit. This is what we need our boys, our men, our young men, I'm sorry, our young men to be like. And his, he's like this because of his, his parents, his mother. He's got a strong mother. I just wanted to take a moment to show my appreciation because it's so important that we continue to support Ronda Hero. What was more impressive than anything was when I heard him begin to talk about his heart and how he wanted to give back to the young people that follows after him. He had a passion for young people. He said one thing yesterday when he was being honored. He said, if I can reach one, that he's done his job. But we got somebody and someone to be proud about that comes from Chester, Pennsylvania. So ladies and gentlemen, he hails at the University of Arizona and plays some great basketball. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to some and present to others Mr. Ron Day. First, I would like to uh, talk to all the athletes here. You know, um, when I when I went here a long time ago, well, not a long time ago, because I'm I'm still young. But when I uh, went here, you know, I, I had a bad attitude. I'm not even gonna lie. I, I had a tantrums all the time. I I used to curse. I, I thought all that was cool. You know, I, I was making my friends laugh. I I was just being a kid. You know, and that's all cool with having fun. But at the same time, you still gotta take things serious. You gotta be able to be taught and you got to be able to listen and learn um, from these guys, you know, teachers as well. Uh, it's always good to have fun, but just know when you're in the classroom, you have to listen and learn because you can't get anywhere without your education. And I, and I learned that a little later. I wish I would have learned it uh, when I was younger, you, your guys' age, but uh, just take advantage of that uh, and just, just grab, grab hold of your studies. Um, I, now I want to talk to the parents. I, you know, when I was uh, growing up, you know, my dad wasn't around or whatever the case may be, but I had a mom, you know, and, and she showed me so much love and uh, affection. And, and I think that's what a lot of the kids need. They need their parents, whoever is in their life, their guardian. They just need them. They just need love, you know, because at the end of the day, that's all they really want. They need somebody to show them that they really care, that uh, at the end of the day, they can talk to you about anything. They just want you to, to be there for them at moments where nobody else can be there. And uh, just, just, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> we all know how it is to be from Chester. A lot of people talking us down and a lot of people don't want us to make it anywhere, but I'm all about giving back and coming back and just trying to help any and everybody, you know, whether it's a kid over here, a kid over there. If you want to just talk to me, you want to hang out, I'm willing to do anything, you know, just to change kids' life because you can make it. You just got to sacrifice. You got to determine yourself. You got to be willing to put in extra hours in the gym. Uh, whatever you want to do, you just got to be willing to focus, be, uh, be proud, and, and be willing to do it no matter what anyone else has to say, you got to be focused and determined to do it. And uh, just keep your mind on that straight path, that narrow path, and, and God will get you there, I promise you. Thank you.
Before Rondé left the building, he graciously gave a few of the professional outlets an opportunity to interview him. And to my pleasure, he even took one of my questions. Here it is. With all the success you've had on the basketball court, one of the questions I have, and I think it's very important for the kids to know, is the concept of what losing means. What, what do you learn from losing? I know it's been tough. You lost your senior high school uh, state championship game. You lost the, the, the conference championship game. You lost going to the final four. Those were three tough losses in the last year and a half for you. Yeah. What do you learn from that experience? Um, I learned, you know, whether you, it's times when you're going to lose, you're going to fail, but uh, you know, you got to get back into the gym and you just got to work hard. You know, those who work hard uh, will, will get the uh, greatest sati satisfactory in the end, of the, in the end you know. And, and it's, it's tough to lose, but you just got to be willing to work hard and get back at it and, and get on your grind and, and you'll get it. You'll get it next time.